Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and had a great Christmas. Uh, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at these two brushes from Jackson's. Uh, first we've got the Jackson's Skywash and we also have the Jackson's Dagger Brush. Uh, while I like both of the brushes and consider them pretty decent value, they may not be to everyone's liking. Uh, so first, let's take a look at the Jackson Skywash. Uh, there are two sizes available of this brush. There's a large and an extra large. Uh, the one I have here is the large. Uh, the overall length of the brush is 223 millimeters. The hair is 14 millimeters wide at the ferrule and 35 millimeters in length. It's made from squirrel hair and it's incredibly soft. Uh, this softness and the fact that it holds a lot of water makes it perfect for its intended use as a sky wash. I've used it in a number of paintings and I've always been happy with the results. Um, it can be used to make other marks too, but its softness limits its usefulness in my opinion. Um, it can easily lose its shape and it, it doesn't spring back at all. And when it's wet it can be a bit floppy. Um, I much prefer like a proper squirrel cat's tongue brush or a squirrel mop. You know, they can do everything that this brush can do, but they hold their shape a lot better and they're a bit more predictable. Um, this brush here is made by Arches, but many other brands sell a similar cat's tongue. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at the Jackson's Dagger Brush. Um, Jackson's offer just one size of dagger brush and to be honest it's pretty small. Um, the overall length of the brush is just over 200 millimeters. Uh, the length of the hair is 33 millimeters and the width is 8 millimeters at the ferrule. Uh, just like the Skywash, it's made from very soft squirrel hair. Um, it's probably too soft I think. Uh, the only other dagger brush I have to compare it with is this silver black velvet dagger striper. This is the 3 8 of an inch size. Um, here in this side by side you can see just how small the Jackson's dagger is. Now I'm definitely not an expert at using a dagger brush, but I've seen them used a lot for botanical painting, especially for the leaves. Um, I tend to use this one much like I would a rigger for things like grasses and tree branches. Uh, it works well and it holds a lot more water than a normal rigger would. Okay, so that's the end of this quick overview of these two brushes from Jackson's. Uh, both are nice brushes and they're well made um, and they're relatively inexpensive for natural squirrel hair this soft. At the moment you can get the dagger for £4.75 at Jackson's and the large sky wash is available for £12.75. Um, I personally don't think I'd recommend the sky wash as I think it would be better to pay a little more and get either a squirrel mop or a better cat's tongue. I think both would be more versatile in my opinion. Uh, as for the dagger brush, um, I'd only recommend it if you really need a small dagger. Um, even then I'd probably recommend a synthetic instead. Uh, something like the small Pro Art sword liner might be better. Um, I just find the natural squirrel hair in this one to be a bit too floppy. Um, you can find links to both of these brushes in the description and I'll also put a few brushes that I would recommend instead of these two. So what do you think of these two brushes? Do you own either of them? And do you have any experience using dagger and cat's tongue brushes? I've not really experimented much with either, to be honest. Uh, I just tend to stick to mops and rounds these days. It might actually be a lot of fun to spend some time learning how to use them properly. And thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Hope you have a happy new year. Bye bye.